the best feeling in the world when your low tier out of the blue rogue deck gets some new support? Well, I wouldn't know either. We're talking about Monadium. So we got even more Monadium support from the new set. We got a set of Vida cards that we're going to talk about in a different video because that's a whole thing. But today we're going to be focusing on the Visas Samsara. Now, Visas Samsara is a very interesting card for a number of reasons. Number one, we need to consider its stat line. Level four, tuner, 1500 attack, 2100 defense. So it has the same stat line as a standard heart monster. Pretty interesting. It's a fairy, unique among them. The rest are all warriors. That may actually end up being a bad thing because it means you can't search this guy with Rota, but cool nonetheless. So its name becomes Visa Star Frost on the field and in the graveyard. That is the big difference between this card and Amritara. You can, in fact, use this card from graveyard as material for a vicious astroloid, which is huge. Uh, this card can target any number of banished Visas monsters or ones that are in your graveyard or in field, shuffle them into the deck, special summon this card, and it gains 400 attack for every monster you shuffle back with a different name. So basically in layman's terms, that means that this card special summons itself from hand for free by shuffling back a banished Visa Starfrost, which is pretty damn dope. Recycling and a free summon. And the reason that that free summon is especially effective is because this card you control when used as synchro material can be treated both as a tuner and a non-tuner monster. So that gives this card an incredible level of versatility when it comes to enabling more synchro summoning. So we're using a unique version of Monodium that utilizes a small math make engine in the form of circular, sigma, and equation in order to turn your Visas Samsara normal summon into a one card combo for the Calamity Lock and Baron de Fleur. I'm gonna show the full combo in solo mode in just a moment. I've also got a small replay lined up and then some so um, online ranked gameplay in the master rank because this, this deck did get us the master exactly as it is. We were playing, uh, I wish it was a more magnanimous claim that I had some really cool replays from our claim. I don't, we steamrolled, there was zero competition and this deck absolutely crushed it. And you know, anytime we were gonna get into our combo our opponents just automatically surrendered. They just couldn't compete. So this, the gameplay is going to be in Master, which is going to be a blast. So obviously stick around to the end of the video to get a grasp, not only of the combo, but seeing the deck live. We will be visiting all of the Vita cards in a separate video, but for now, we're going to focus on this Calamity Lock version of Monodium. So if you're interested, of course, in catching that other content when it comes out or anything else that we do on this channel, make sure you're subscribed to catch new content as it comes out as often as we can put it out. It used to be every day, but we're going to slow the production of content down a little bit in favor of trying to make the content better again. Big shout out to anybody who's showing their support on the previous video as we're experimenting and learning what to do with these videos. Of course, any suggestions are more than free to be left in the comments below. Uh, you can also leave below a little like if you actually enjoy watching, you know, help you boy out, get it out to even more people, help out that little bit more and subscribe if you're not subscribed. But let me not take up any more of your time at the start. Let's dive right in to that combo. All right, getting into our one card combo. So we're going to pretend that basically as many of these cards in our hand aren't here as possible. And we're going to start with just normal summoning Visas Samsara. Now, this combo is going to be a little bit different to what you've seen in the past before. So I would recommend paying attention because it's an easy one to get wrong. We're going to start by Link summoning uh, with our Visa Samsara into the Scarclaw Lightheart. Its name is treated as Visa Sarfrost on field. So that is worth noting. Uh, so we're going to go into the Scarclaw Lightheart right away. Using the Scarlet Claw Lightheart, we're going to get searching our deck for the Primitive Planet Reich Phobia, uh, which we're going to activate and use, of course. We're going to search using this for our Scarlet Claw Reichheart. Scarlet Claw Reichheart then can be special summoned out to the field uh, using its effect here. Now we're going to get searching. We're going to grab ourselves Scarlet Claw Arrival from our deck to our hand. And using the Scarlet Claw Arrival, we're going to bring back then the Visa Samsara from our graveyard. Now this is where the combo now pivots to a sort of different version. So now we're going to use these two monsters. We're going to go into Prime Aphmec Alan Bershin. So you'll notice both of these guys are level four. Uh, now, unfortunately, because Scarlet Right card is dark, you cannot use it as non-tuner material for the uh, Amritara. So we have to think of an alternative version, which is why we're doing this. Because now we're able to use the Alan Bershin. We're going to detach both materials, of course. We're going to search our deck for the Mathmec Circular. We're playing a very small math mech engine because all we're using it for is we're going to send our Sigma to the graveyard off of our circular. And then we're going to use the Alimbersion's effect to tribute itself to summon back the math mech Sigma from our graveyard. It's not using circular. We're going to get searching our deck. We're going to grab the math mech equation, which is basically just going to act as an extender later in the combo. 
We then have our light level 4 tuner and level 4 non-tuner, so now we can go into the Visa's Amritara. Alright, summoning the Amritara, we get searching our deck for the Calarium now. So we're going to use this, we're going to grab Peaceful Planet Calarium. Uh, we're going to use Calarium now, we're going to get searching our deck. Uh, what you would do normally is you would search your deck for Meek right here. Now, because we already have Meek in hand, I'm going to grab Rium Heart instead. But remember, search for Meek, right? Now we're going to special summon this Meek to the field. And we're going to use Visa's Amritara's effect. We're going to activate this to pop our Minotia Meek. We're going to destroy it. That's going to trigger, of course, its own effect to special summon another Meek from our deck. And Calarium's effect to summon back the one that we just destroyed. So we're going to bring these two cards out. The one from the graveyard will be a level 2, and the one you summon from deck, we're going to change to level 4. Now what we're going to do is we're going to link off into Cross Sheep. We're going to use our level 2 Minotium Meek as well as our Lightheart. Uh, we're going to summon our Cross Sheep out to the field here, of course. Now because we have these two dorks in our graveyard, now we can go into the Vicious Astrolite. So we're going to banish the Samsara and the Reichardt from our graveyard. Uh, we're going to summon the Vicious Astrolite underneath the Cross Sheep Arrow. That's going to trigger Cross Sheep's effect to bring a monster back from our graveyard. So we're going to bring back, of course, Mathmex Circular. So back comes the Circular. Now we're going to use the Visa Samratara and the Mathmex Circular to go into the Crimson Dragon. So right here, level 8 tuner, level 4 non-tuner. You know the vibes. So we're going to summon out the Crimson Dragon. We're going to activate this card's effect to search our deck for the... Synchro Rumble. Synchro Rumble, a very powerful card. Uh, useful for this strategy, but also not really a brick either. I just like this card in general. I think it's really good. Now, this is where the equation comes in. We're going to use the Mathmech Equation. We're going to bring back the Mathmech Circular from our graveyard here. Now, we've got a level 4 tuner and a level 4 non-tuner, so we're going to use these two to go into the Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon. Again, another really powerful card that most Minotium Mists uh, lists aren't using right now, but I think this card's really good, especially in this version of the deck. We're going to use this guy, of course, to bring back the Minotium Meek from the graveyard. Then we use these two for our first Omni to get. We're going to go for Baron. A little lit in the combo, of course, not exactly the way you would want to summon it, but it's coming out nonetheless. Here it is. Then just like in many other combos, you're going to be using your Crimson Dragon, targeting Baron the Fleur. You're going to summon for from your uh, extra deck, your Bestial Dispater. Now that Dispater's on the field, you can use its effect to bring back a banished card. We're going to bring back that Visa Samsara. Samsara, a very, very versatile card, of course. Then using the Samsara and our Vicious Astrolite, we're going to be going into our other level 12 monster. So we're going to use these two here. Going into the uh, Super Heavy Samurai, Brave, Masura, whatever the hell that says. This guy is way better than Sigma. Way better than Sigma, in my opinion. Because Sigma doesn't do anything unless it's summoned to the extra monster zone, which isn't going to happen during your combo. And even then, this guy's ability to draw you extra cards in a deck like this, where you really sort of want to draw cards, it's very useful. This guy's actually, unironically, a really good card. Now we're going to use that Synchro Rumble that we've been holding on to to bring back a tuner from the graveyard. We're going to bring back that Meek. Out it comes. Then we're going to use the Meek and the Dispater. We're going to go into our second Crimson Dragon, or the second copy of the same Crimson Dragon. Uh, so that's going to act as our ability to Calamity Lock on our opponent's turn. And just like that, you see the other four cards in our hand, exactly the cards that they were, Tag Rium Heart out for Meek, it's the same shit. Uh, combo would have worked even if we had a Surge Star deck for Meek, because we don't go through all three of them. Uh, yeah, that's the combo. It really is that good. And then during your opponent's turn, uh, again, just to demonstrate, you know, for the sake of demonstration, uh, we're going to toggle on here. We're going to go Crimson Dragon, targeting our Muzawaro, or whatever the hell's name is, sending itself... Summoning out the Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, King Calamity. And just like that, our opponent cannot activate cards on the field for the rest of the turn. So total floodgate, your opponent cannot activate the effects of cards in the field, as well as having Baron here to protect your Crimson Dragon from a, a potential Imperm, protect it from uh, Veiler, protect it from basically anything other than, like, Droplet, right? Because it's going to happen in draw phase. So yeah, it's hard to... It's a hard one to pass up. It really is. Very, very effective combo. I'm going to show off a quick replay here. Just, again, our opponent doesn't sit the whole way for our combo, unfortunately, because nobody ever fucking does. Uh, but we'll show that replay off and then hopefully get some decent live gameplay. 
All right, getting in the art replay then. Again, fairly standard hand here. We're just going to show off some of the combos and plays. Nothing really super fancy here. Uh, we're going to go through a couple of our field spells, grabbing Visa Starfrost, grabbing our Realm Heart. Uh, we're going to normal summon the Realm Heart, grabbing ourselves Minati and Meek from the deck. So this is going to be useful to know if you don't know how to play Minati in general, right? We're going to go Trisuka. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to grab the Reich uh, Phobia before we went into this combo, and that is going to come up later, but we're still able to set up. It's basically the same board. Uh, using these guys, we're going to go into Lighthurt now, sending the Amritara using this to search our deck for Reichphobia. We are going to use the Reichphobia, uh, but we are going to sacrifice the next effect of our Calarium. Imagining it's going to draw two, shuffle back our Sigma, which is useful. Again, another really good thing about Imagining is it can shuffle back your bricks, which is why I love that card. Uh, grabbing and summoning the Reichhart so we can grab Scarclaw Rifle, pop in the Lightheart to summon the Visa Starfrost. Lightheart can bring itself back from the Graveyard before we Synchro Summon into Baron de Fleur. Now we're going to use that Scarclaw Arrival to summon back from the Graveyard our Visa Starfrost and linking two into the Cross Sheep right away over the Baron. Now we're going to go into the Vicious Astrolite, banishing two to summon it from our extra deck under the Cross Sheep to trigger the Cross Sheep's effect to boost our field and bring a monster back from the Graveyard. We're going to pop that monster to summon it a level four version of itself in the deck so we can go into the crimson dragon crimson dragon get searching for synchro rumble as well as targeting our baron in order to summon out a bestial dispater right next to it and i think it, yeah it's at this point that our opponent just surrenders we were basically just going to bring back a uh, monster go into an additional synchro monster with our synchro rumble and have a good old time but unfortunately our opponent is a little bitch there's an awful lot of this happening. Uh, again, this was during our Climb the Master. We climbed from, through just Diamond 1 and the Master very, very easily with this deck. Uh, very minimal opposition. People typically don't want to sift through your full combo. If they don't have a way to out you, they usually just kind of give up very quickly because they know that Monadian can play through a lot. It's a super powerful deck. It's aim board. Very difficult for many decks to break. Uh, and they know that if, they, if they're unable to stop you from setting it up, it's GG's. So yeah, that's it. Super quick, super simple replay. Let's see if we can't get a live game or two. My recent experience on the ladder thus far has either been uh, go second and immediately die to full board or lose to maxi or whatever the situation is, or go first, don't get maxied, and have your opponent immediately surrender once they realize that you've got full combo. Uh, we'll see which of the two categories this game is gonna fall into. Now you'll notice this hand, very impressive hand. We're going to use... Oh, I don't really want to use the Calarium first because then we'll be forced to not be able to use it later. That's fine. Uh, we're going to start with Minotium Realm Heart. This card is perfect. Ash, Imperm, and Veiler Bait. Hopefully, if they've got something, they're going to use it. It doesn't seem like they've got anything. Mm. Now, who could have predicted that? I literally could not have put that better myself. You know what? We're going to win the game. Konami's going to give me my game. They're going to let me play cards. I will summon a goddamn monster by the end of this video, Konami. Mark my words. I will. Just you wait. Is it going to be against this clown, though? Let's see. You got the pearly mate. You've obviously... Oh, my God. It walks into stage like an infant. That's nerve-wracking. Oh, this motherfucker. He's got the C. Hopefully he, like, doesn't. Uh, we're going to go Monotium Imagining off the rip. Hopefully we just rip Ash Blossom. That's it. That's the prayer. That is the mission. The prayer. The objective. We fucked up. Uh, we <laughs> we failed. Abort mission. This did not work. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. We fucked up. We're going to go for the Primeval Planet then. We're going to get searching our deck for a Visas Starfrost. Starring some frost, good sir. We're going to normal summon our Minotium Marium Heart. That draw to actually hurt us more than it helped us. That is wild. Wild how that works out. We're going to go Minotium Abscission then. I should have just grabbed Reframing if I'm being honest. Probably should have just grabbed Reframing if I'm going to be a buck fitty with you, Chief. Not really working out for us. We're going to go for the Minotium Meek then. Special summon for free, inherent. Not going for the Sheesh. Why? Are you going to wait till after my Trisuka summon? Mayhaps. Mayhaps I trouble thee for an explanation. That's fine. I mean, if you don't want to go Max C, I'll pop off. I'll use cards. You think I won't press buttons? I'll use cards. Fucking watch me, buddy. I'll press so many cards. You have no idea what's coming for you. I have no idea what's coming for you. Let's find out. Let's go. We're going to go Amritara then. Amritara is going to search our deck for another um, Visa Starfrost related card. Aye, bro. 
Okay, he allows it to go through. All right, we'll grab the Calarium. Okay, I'm feeling like kind of quietly confident about this. What is that about? All right, we're going to go Lightheart then, I guess. Okay. You got to be fucking with me here, buddy. Like, there's, you got, you, you, you've obviously got something. Is it Nib? Is it Nib? Are you trying to Nib me, sir? I've already covered in the past how this deck is Nib-proof. And we're going to potentially try to utilize that now. So we're going to go Rag Phobia. Yup, it's going to grab us our Rag Heart. Love to see it. Nice, nice, nice. Going to special out the Rag Heart. He's obviously got something. I I'm fairly certain it's Nib. I think he's got Maxi and Nib. And the reason he didn't Maxi is because he wanted to Nib. Um... I think that's his plan. Which means that if that is his plan, he likely has whatever starter it is he could possibly want from this situation right here. So we are going to go for Calarium. Adding a card from deck to hand, we're going to grab a, I don't know, I guess a Realm Heart. It doesn't really matter. Guess we could have grabbed the second Star Frost for an Obsidian target, but that's not real. You can't prove it. All right, now we're going to go Visa Star Frost. We're going to pop the Light Heart. And it's one of those situations now where you either use it or lose it, buddy, right? It's no longer a case of having the option, right? It's use it or lose it, buddy. There it is. There's a nib. What can I say? What can I tell you? It's like... It's like I know. As if he didn't signpost it, super obviously for us to see. Alright, that's okay. This is fine. You'd imagine this deep into the combo, you'd think to yourself, No, there's no way you could possibly recover from Nibiru. No, no, no. We've got it. We're gonna go Obsidian here, we're gonna pop this Nibiru, the Primal Being token. I'm gonna grab myself a little reframing counter trap. You know, you know how, how it is. The mo fucking vibes. Now we're gonna use the Obsidian that we just said to our graveyard. Turns out Obsidian was the correct ad. We're going to special summon the Visa Star Frost directly from hand. That's going to allow us to go for a rival. Grabbing this mofo back from Grave. Perfection. Then we go Lightheart. Excellent. Already used your search effect. Hmm. We may not have a ton here, though. We might not have... Lots of room for follow-up here. That Chaos Angel would be kind of based. Chaos Angel would be kind of based, I'm not going to lie, but we're going to go for the Baron here. We're going to go for Baron. Normal, or sorry, Synchro Summoning our Baron. Yeah. Not fantastic. We were a monster shy of extending. That's okay. Uh, we are going to pop his freaking Nibiru, obviously. So get rid of that shit. Okay. That's fine. You know what? Not perfect. Had to go through the Nibiru there, but it's fine. We got Baron, we got Reframing, and we've got the, uh, the Imperm. We're not on zero, and our opponent's down a card in hand. I can dig it. I think that's fine. Moving into me in here, what's our opponent going to be up to? Baron, you're not going nowhere. You sit put. You you stay put. You're going nowhere. You're you're the wall between me and lo losing. That Baron goes. I go. Man, it is not a good time to be us. But I'm pretty. I'm I'm quietly confident. I think we got this. You know what? Crazy. Who would have seen that one coming? Bonfire. Wild. What an uncommon and quirky card. I wonder what deck they're playing. Said literally no one with more than five brain cells. All right, they got that. Uh, they got that. Poplar on deck. That's fine. This deck has some, like, really big, um... Uh, what would you call them? The Fings! You know what I'm talking about. You know the vibe. Um... Damn it. I forget the word. Okay, they're gonna go Subversion. We're going to, of course, negate that, obviously. Uh, I can't let that shit happen. Baron! What does your dumbass gotta say about that? I got wanted? Is that what that is? Got a little bit of wanted in, in you? Got some wanted blood? 
Choke point. That was the word. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, four cards left in hand. Still got his normal summon. Still got his link summon. Uh, Poplar gonna set itself into the back row. I dare say that's because he's got a original sinful spoils he wants to use, and he's looking for some free material. Aye, bro. Aye, aye. He does. Original sinful spoils. Okay, I fuck with it. Honestly, I would negate this, but I, I, I'm not worried enough about it. So he's either gonna summon like a ash or an oak. Realistically, those are the two. I was wrong. I am incorrect, sir. I have been incorrect. This is this is a bad thing that's now happening to us. It's a really good card. Add Riskius monster from deck to hand. You can still normal summon. That's okay. Your engine pieces aren't very scary. So if I just hit the pieces that aren't the engine pieces, then I should be fine. Right? That's how that works, right? That's how, that's how Mafia works. Okay, going for the Link 2 play into the Nightmare Phoenix. That sucks. That really sucks. That does eat a lot of his cards, though, which is like, I can live with that. You know what I mean? I'm going to Imperm. Got that normal summon lifter. Which is a pain in the ass. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I see you. I get you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Our lifter. Got it. Okay, that's fine. We'll allow that. Gonna grab a spell. Gonna grab emergency, of course. Right. There's always a chance he plays this in the imperm column, right? There's always a chance. Finally makes the move. He goes for the emergency. <laughs> oh, brother. I have to let it go. I have to let it go. Did not play it in the Imperm column, unfortunately. Bro knows how to spot blue glowing columns filled with bubbles for some reason. I don't know why there's bubbles in Infinite Permanence, but there is. The floor is fucking blue lava, apparently. Okay, Tarp. Kind of figured. Defense mode, that actually gives me some amount of confidence. Okay. You know what? Honestly? Hell yeah, I can take that. I will take that all day, every day. I will absolutely take that. Reframing, negate the turbulence, negate and destroy. Get that weak shit out of here. Two cards left in hand. No normal summon to your name. No hoes, no bitches. Have you got any fucking plays left? Come on. No heat fucking doesn't. Yes, sir. I'll take it. I will take it. Take your nib and shove it. Let's get one last look at that deck list. And here you have it. I'm not going to make the claim that this is optimal Monodium. I think that realistically Monodium at this stage is basically just... I mean, again, this has always been the case, but people are very nervous about bringing innovation and ideas to decks that they look at as commonly treaded ground. There's a lot of really, really cool things you can do with Monodium that you can do with any deck, really, uh, that you just want, that you have to basically just want to do it. You have to want to be creative. You have to want to do things your way. I really like this little math mech engine that I came across online. I was testing it. I really like it. I think it's awesome. I'm currently playing Samsara at three because I wanted to show off the Calam Calamity Lock. Unfortunately, it never happens in like real games because you either don't see it or your opponent surrenders before Calamity even comes out, which happens a lot. So, so I'm sorry, you probably don't want to play a three. You don't have to play the, oh, you do have to play that. You don't have to play the Math Make Engine if you don't want to. You don't have to play this guy at three. I think two copies of this is perfect. Uh, you don't have to play Rumble. Um, you know, there's a lot of cards you can cut if you just want to play Monodium. But like, if you want to have some fun and you really want to like experiment and do things, don't let somebody else tell you that playing a card is a bad idea just because they don't play it. Just because that's not how it's played. Play the damn card. Play whatever you want. It's a fucking card game. Sorry, that's going a little bit off course there. It's just a lot of people I know whenever we create original ideas, some people are very set in their ways. And don't let that be you. And don't let those people stop you from doing what you want to do. Sometimes the best ideas are new ideas, right? So. 
go ahead, keep being creative, keep having fun, keep enjoying the ladder, and keep coming back to our videos, you know, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, I don't know why you wouldn't, you know, it's an awful lot of fun over here, at least I think so, uh, you know, personally. Uh, and like the video if you enjoyed watching, and I'll not keep you any longer. See you next time. Bye-bye.